Guys, today I'm going to be running a test. I'm currently running the Arctic Silver MX4. That's what's currently on the CPU and also the GPU uh, in my Dell G77588 Core i7-8750H. Running the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm running this because it, uh, I, first of all, I love flying, but secondly, because it does uh, use quite a lot of CPU power and GPU power. Uh, to do the test. It's better than actually running the uh, XTU uh, testing, I find. The XTU doesn't really get the CPU temperature up very high. So right now, currently we've had a uh, temperature high of 98 degrees, 99 actually, uh, on a few cores. So, uh, but sort of steady around like the 80 degree mark. But um, what I'm interested to see is, I'm gonna change to the uh, Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut here and see if I can drop down that max temp. And I'm gonna be using uh, Los Angeles Airport. It does have a lot of uh, very dense scenery to generate. So this is kind of like a good airport to be at to do the test. Uh, so I'm gonna tear this thing down, replace it with the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. I'll show you the teardown process as well and, uh, and see how it goes. Before I do that, I'll just mention that I'm not running any underclocking or anything like that. So all my volts are just standard zero across the board. Um, so yeah, after the test, I'll run it the same as it is now, see how it goes, and then I'll undervolt it and see what sort of temperatures I get as well. guys I hope uh, well guys and girls I hope you enjoyed that uh, little hyperlapse there tearing down the Dell G7 7588 I'm now down to the uh, the main sort of board here where the RAM is and the GPU and CPU um, I'm pretty sure that's the CPU it's got a bigger surface area anyway but uh, so the next sort of stage here is to separate the cooling uh, fans and tubes from the actual main board um, and there's not too much to it. All we need to do is undo, I think, five screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually. So we'll go ahead and undo those, and then we'll carefully, basically, pry off the cooling pipes from the actual uh, processor main board there. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Just thought I'd mention quickly as well before I undo them. These are actually numbered, uh, these outer two on this and here, they don't have numbers. Uh, actually, no, yes, sorry, they do. I'm looking at this the wrong way. What I might do is I'll just turn it around here. Okay. Um, so you've got, uh, let's see here, number one, number two, three, four, five, and six. So that's sort of the way you're going to undo things. I'm going to start from number six and work my way back. Also guys, when you are undoing these, you may need to support the main board just from underneath as you do that, because you want to avoid when you're putting pressure down on the screw, you want to avoid bending the actual board or the uh, CPU fans or cooling or anything like that. Okay, just be careful. Alrighty, so with all the screws out now, the next stage is to lift off the cooling board. So I'm just going to sort of pry it up a little bit here. There we go, and it sort of just pops up. Now this is fairly um, new thermal paste. The, uh, as I mentioned, the MX4 from Arctic that's on here already. Um, let's see if I can just get a zoom in here on what it looks like and how well it had spread. I previously, I think from memory, I used just like the P-sized method um, on there. So you can see that, you know, it's spread out fairly well. Um, but I did watch a very good video on some comparisons between the way you apply thermal paste. And I think I'm going to do the credit card spread on uh, this attempt with the 
thermal grizzly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up the thermal old thermal paste. I'm going to show you how I do that. Before I do that, it's time to make an espresso. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be cleaning up the CPU thermal paste using just some cotton earbuds. Uh, although you shouldn't be putting these things in your ears, so they say, but I do all the time. Anyway, and just a, a little cotton pad here. Um, just be careful of these because they can get caught on the tiny little sorter points around the board there. So you just want to make sure you clean that up uh, and make sure that's sort of gone uh, completely. And I'm just going to be using some 70% isopropyl alcohol as well. So for the main part, um, just to start off with, I'm just going to get rid of the uh, GPU's paste here. Is guys so there we are nicely cleaned up once again you want to have this a mirror shine okay and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to un uh, well i guess open up our cryonaut i got this on amazon for like six dollars i think something like that it's just a little four what is it four grams or something it's not too much but it's enough for what i need today so i'm going to go ahead and open that and then we're going to apply it Alrighty, so inside the pack we have a little Thermal Grizzly sort of certificate of origin card. That's pretty fancy. We've got the little tube of the actual paste here. Sorry if it's not in focus. And then the uh, applicator, the little spreading tool here. And then there's also some instructions that are included as well. Um, if you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, uh, you can read them. Hopefully you can read Japanese, Chinese, I should say Mandarin, or oh, English. Here we go. Okay, so clean the contact surface using a higher percentage alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol, and then apply with the included spatula. So you either do the P, uh, sorry, either do the P method or the uh, cross method. But I'm going to do the actual complete spread method today. So let's jump into that and take a look. I'll just zoom in for you guys. Place our cooler back on as best as possible. Oh, wrong way, this way. All right. Now, this part you want to be sort of careful because you don't want to spread all the. Uh, Paste everywhere, but you want to also ensure Okay You want to ensure that you're actually getting the um, The fan speaker uh, the fan wiring I shouldn't have had that espresso, I'm really shaky. Alright, I'm just going to do these up very lightly to start off with, alright? 
just so that we can do an equal amount of pressure as we tighten them down in the number sequence that they have on here. So guys, right now, it's just the opposite. You're basically just putting everything back on, all right? So I'll probably stop the video here. Um, and then I'll just do a hyperlapse, putting it all back together. Oh, geez, I'm so shaky. That espresso really got me. Probably shouldn't have espresso when you're doing this. Um, yeah, I'll probably stop the video here and then I will do the hyperlapse of putting it all back together and then do the test using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Who's playing it? Any of you guys playing it? Are you doing this because you want to uh, play it better with cooler sort of CPU? Let me know in the comments. So one last thing, we'll just tighten this down in the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and just do that now. I'm not doing them overly tight, just snug. Alrighty. everybody welcome back some uh, impressive news here with the cryonaut thermal grizzly paste microsoft flight simulator 2020 i'll be running this for about 20 minutes now has reached a top temperature of 89 degrees celsius so pretty much 10 degrees celsius cooler so i can comfortably say that uh I'm very, very happy with the Cryonaut Thermal Grizzly. Alrighty, guys and girls, here we are back loaded into Flight Simulator 2020, and I've applied some undervolting to the uh, CPU core and the cache, about 156 uh, volts undervolting. And uh, so, yeah, there's the temperatures right there. We're seeing a maximum of uh, now 77. Uh, which is fantastic compared to 99 degrees that I had before. So I'm really, really happy with this, and I'm sure you will be too. Uh, once again, don't forget to like the video, share it, and have a fantastic day. Take care.